basically Barr said that uh, I, he could conceive of situations where, you know, as a last resort, where a news organizations run through a red flag, or something like that, and knows that they're putting out stuff that will hurt the country. There could be a situation where someone, a journalist, could be held in contempt. That was an answer to the question by Senator Klobuchar about whether, whether the Justice Department would ever jail reporters for doing their jobs. Brian, you want to weigh in on that and uh, anything else about what's going on and how you see the situation with Julian Assange right now? Yeah, I'm glad to be here. I, I didn't hear the earlier conversation. I just came in for the last uh, comments by Bill Binney, but I did see uh, Barr's comments. Uh, and of course, uh, who, what is the red flag? I, I, what's the red line or the red flag and who determines it? I mean, where, wait a second, what, what about the First Amendment? I mean, uh, and we have at the same moment that Bill Barr, the architect of mass incarceration in the United States, someone who loves to put people in prison and lots of them. And as you can see in, in his, uh, his document that he authored in, in 1992, uh, the case for mass incarceration in the United States. I mean, that's who this person is. Uh, in his testimony, he says, yeah, I can see, I can see us uh, arresting journalists, sure. Well, in, a, in fact, uh, uh, Marzea uh, Hashimi, the American, African-American woman uh, who was a well-known anchor for the press TV show, The Debate, uh, a show that probably many of us have been on frequently, certainly more than once, she, she stopped in L.A. as she does every year on Sunday uh, to visit her family in St. Louis and to also make a movie, a documentary about Black Lives Matter in St. Louis. And of course, St. Louis is just a little bit away from, from Ferguson, where Mike Brown was killed that inaugurated the Black Lives Matter movement. She's arrested. And the day after, the FBI says, well, uh, we, we have unspecified charges, or that's what the media was saying. Well, she's not, she doesn't have any charges. She's arrested as a material witness. And we know how Robert Mueller played that after 9-11, where literally thousands of people who were either Arab American or South Asian or Muslims or look like they were South Asian or look like they were Arab, uh, they, were, they were arrested on as material witnesses and thus uh, denied the, all the fundamental rights of an arrestee for an arraignment and to, uh, to face their accuser and to know the charges because there actually are no charges. So this is happening right now. This is happening because, of course, Press TV is a target. Uh, Julian Assange is a target for a different reason. Press TV is a target because it's part of the state media for Iran, and Iran is in the crosshairs of the Trump administration. Uh, Julian is in the crosshairs because he tells the truth. Uh, WikiLeaks has never published anything that's not true. And so when you have the attorney general coming in and saying, oh, yeah, I can conceive of um, arresting journalists and holding them um, sort of vaguely about red flags and maybe for contempt for maybe other things, you can't but interpret this uh, as a signal of what the mood and temperament of the government is right now. And, and of course, it's not Trump only. It's not bar only. This is across the board. That's why I think what we're doing here is, in fact, uh, critically important because we are not beholden to either of these parties. Uh, we're not part of that establishment. We're not part of, of these elites. But I think we do speak for the majority of people in the world and certainly the majority of people who even read uh, about WikiLeaks revelations through, say, The Guardian or The Washington Post or The New York Times. We value this information. Not only do we value it, but we learn about a government that speaks in our name and is committing crimes against humanity, like the crimes that WikiLeaks uh, revealed in the Iraq war logs. Uh, this is indispensable information. So uh, we're, we're up against it right now. We all know we're up against it. Julian Assange is up against it more than anybody. But I actually feel that uh, given the, the time and the mood and the temperament uh, within this country and amongst the law enforcement uh, that, you know, they feel that they, they're untethered. They don't have any restraints right now. Anything goes right now. Uh, all the more reason why what we're doing is, is in fact critically important. Mm -hmm.